Dad, I got a quick question. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I was watching TV the other day, and this guy, this preacher, that was talking this and talking that. Somebody stood up, and the preacher hit the dude on the forehead with the palm of his hand, and the guy fell backwards, and some people caught him, and he, when he stood back up, he was healed. He had the devil in him, and then he was, it was, it was like all glory and rainbows and butterflies for the dude after he had the palm to the head. Now listen, listen. If Jesus came home and saw his shoes chewed up, hypothetically. Do you think he would forgive people? Yes. How about his underwear? Do you think if Jesus came home and saw his underwear chewed up, the hammock part, the important part, he'd be like, oh man, I'm gonna whoop somebody. No, he would say, I forgive that person. I forgive that person. What about, what about Jesus' brush? If Jesus came home and saw teeth marks all over his brush, to where it was almost not even recognizable as a handle anymore, do you think he would forgive that person? Absolutely. And if he didn't forgive that person, we would have to get the devil out of him, right? Like the preacher on TV? Alright, so, hey, just for our experiment today, our experiment today, I already did, I already, I already did all this stuff. I was like, ooh, I might have made a mistake, and I was like, ooh, I could turn this noodle into an experiment. I already did all that stuff to mom's stuff. I chewed up her shoe, I chewed up her underwear, the hammock part, and I chewed up her brush. It doesn't look like a brush handle anymore, it looks like a shank that somebody made in San Quentin prison. Okay, so, uh, so I'm going to show mom what I did, and if she gets really mad, you just hit her really, really, really hard with the palm of your hand right on her forehead. And when she falls down on the ground and, and knocks herself out, she'll wake up, she'll go, oh, I forgive you. Is that, is that how it's going to go down? That's how it's going to go down. This was not my fault. I did not mean to put my teeth on those things.